Welcome to Short of Sir Classes. Hello students. So this question is about a chocolate salesman. He was travelling with three boxes with 30 chocolates in each box. So the three boxes that has 30 chocolates in each. Now during his journey he encounters 30 toll booths. Each toll booth inspector takes one chocolate per box that contains chocolate as tax and the question is now what is the largest number of chocolates he can be left with after passing through the toll booths and the options are this now let's try to solve this question this one is really interesting okay so after crossing 10 booths so after crossing 10 booths this is booth I am tagging it like B salesman will have 20 chocolates in each box so he will have 20 chocolate in each box and it will look like this ok now I am just putting C for chocolate so that will be more clear okay now after he will after this he will do one thing that he will transfer these 20 chocolates equally to another boxes to this and to this so now the boxes will have equally now he will have two boxes that will contain 30 chocolates in each so now 30 in each but the boxes are now 2 so after he will have 30 chocolates in his 2 boxes after crossing 50 toll booths this is toll booths ok so he will have 15 chocolates in each so he will have 15 chocolates in his two boxes so this will be the next scenario now I'm just repeating myself he started with 30 chocolates in three boxes then after 10 booths he end up with 20 chocolates in each three boxes then he just transferred them to other two boxes equally and I'm just changing my paint color here he has transferred them and after transferring he end up like this 30 chocolates in each but he only left with two boxes now after crossing the 50 15 booth he end up like 15 chocolates in two boxes then he will have when he will transfer this 15 to that one box he will end up with one box that will have 30 chocolate is that clear now he have one box and he have 30 chocolates so what was the question about what was the largest number of chocolate he can be left with after passing through all the booths so after crossing five tolls booth he will have 25 chocolates then after crossing five booth he will have 25 chocolates this will be the chocolate scenario now I'm just adjusting my page first ok so now he have crossed 5 both and he has 25 
chocolate in his one box so after passing through all the toll booths that will be left with 25 number of chocolate so that he will left with 25 number of chocolate so here we have the following option yeah we get our option option c will be the answer so it is the answer now we will move to our next question this question is about a milkman who adds 10 liters of water to 90 liters of milk so if we just draw this like this it's containing milk 90 liter of milk and this is water that is 10 liter of water after selling one fifth of the total quantity he adds water equal to the quantities that he has sold the proportion of the water to milk he sells now would be which of the following so let us do this like this total quantity is total quantity will be 100 liters now 90 liters of milk plus 10 liters of water that is 1 is to 9 ratio after this selling one fifth of selling one fifth of total quantity one fifth of total quantity that is 20 liter remaining quantity will be 80 so remaining will be 80 that is the left with okay let me adjust my page okay yeah now the ratio of water to milk is that is 80 liter is 1 is to 9 now x plus 9 x if we take it like this x and this is 9 x that is equals to 80 now x equals to 8 unit so in so 8 liter plus 70 liter 72 liter milk is in 80 liter so in 80 liter that is the remaining mixture we have 8 liter of water and 72 liter of milk so now he add water equal to the quantity he has sold is 20 liter water now the total quantity the total quantity will be 100 liter water plus 72 liter milk so the ratio of water to milk water ratio with milk will be 28 to 72 so we have the options like and this option is satisfying our answer so option b will be the answer here thank you for watching this video